let's begin understanding the wattage test in this session. So Varnish is a caching HTTP reverse proxy, which means uh, when your client is making a request for your HTTP server, the Varnish act as an intermediary between the web server and the client. So the client request would be coming to the Varnish server and the intern Varnish would try and answer the request from its cache in case the request is answered from the cache it will directly send the response to the client in case the varnish is not able to find the response to the request in its cache it will further forward the request to the backend web server now the web server would be serving the request to the varnish server the Varnish server would in turn store this response in its cache and deliver the same response to the client. This needs to be understood over here if the client again makes the same request to the web server then Varnish would be able to answer that request since this request has been stored in its cache now. This is the primary function of the varnish cache. To make it more understandable, it can be thought of as a when a user first time visits your website and requests the page, then the varnish keeps the copy of the surf page. At this point when the user first time requests the your surf page, it gets served from the web server itself, but Varnish stores the copy of that surf page in its cache. Now if the user revisits the same page again, then that then that copy of the surf page would be served from the Varnish cache itself. Thereby Varnish won't be requesting the web servers to serve the request. This basically increases the website performance and the scalability since the Varnish cache is way too faster as compared to your backend web server responses. This, if the request is getting served from the Varnish cache, this can be way too faster somewhere in the range of 300 to 1000 times to the request that is being served from the backend web servers. Okay, proceeding further. The greatest advantage of using the Varnish cache is that it is highly responsive in nature, which means it is typically very faster than your backend web servers so any request which is getting served from the varnish cache may be 300 to 1000 times faster than what is actually being served from the backend web servers now obviously how much time it's getting faster is depend upon your architecture and your settings that you have applied to your varnish cache we would be discussing about the settings of the varnish cache which you will, you can make for the varnish to serve the request better okay proceeding further it is important to understood that the varnish cache doesn't store all the type of the content what content the varnish cache can store it depends upon the response which it receives from the backend in the form of the http response header which is known as cache control but there are few conditions where by default varnish will not store your content the most common being the use of the cookies 
since the cookies indicate that the, there is a client specific web object so by default varnish will not cache it okay proceeding further you can it is need to be understood that the varnish is highly customizable you should be able to change the varnish functionality by changing the policies written in the varnish configuration language vcl now this varnish configuration language here you can write your own policy by which you can decide what content you want to serve from where you want to get the content and how the request or response should be altered thereby giving you huge customization options according to your need basically if you are using vcls you may you would be able to write the policies depending upon what type of content you want to cache and all the things you can uh, use varnish to customize according to your own needs and your infrastructure now varnish is being supported on all the modern day platforms and is a community driven project just like a uh, CentOS, you, CentOS as the CentOS is also a community-driven project and is being delivered under the EPEL package repository. That's it from my side today. Thank you for watching the video.